Hello everyone. So let's get started with our first uh, video about uh, the 010 editor. So if we start our editor, let's create a file, uh, a basic file. Uh, let's create a basic, I mean, text file. Okay. Call it whatever you want. I'm just going to add hello everyone. I added two uh, two lines and then welcome to this video series. Okay. Let's just do that. And then let's close it. And now let's open it in our hex editor. So let's open it over here. I'm going to maximize this a little bit so we can view it a little bit better. Now, when you open this, by the way, uh, the default the view would be like this. But since I had already been playing around with the text ed with this editor, uh, this is how you view it the first time. So when you, if you just install it, just open it, uh, this is how your uh, text file will look like. By the way, don't get confused with all of these buttons, all of these, uh, the inspector, the type, and the data. We'll go over over all of them uh, in other videos. But for now, let's just go over the basics and viewing uh, the contents of the file. So it's a it's a hex file. Uh, sorry, it's a text file. So we can view it directly like this. But if we want to view it, let's say as hex, so we want to see what the hex representation, the hexadecimal representation of each character. You can see now we have on the right our ASCII representation for each character. And on the left, we see we have our hexadecimal representation for each character. So 48 represents uppercase H. Uh, 65 represents uh, lowercase e. 6C represents uh, lowercase l. And again, 6C, again, lowercase l. 6F is lowercase o and then you can see we have a space the space see this one is uh in when we open like a, when we open our uh, text file so if i just go back uh, we, we we see that there is nothing there but at the end this is really a character this is a character there is a there's a, a byte which is this 20 okay there's a byte representing that character over there so even if it's uh not seen or uh, invisible uh, it still has a hexadecimal representation for it, okay? So the computer will understand when it sees, let's say, 20, that this is a space, okay? When it sees 20 in hexadecimal, it will know that this is a space. And then after that, we can see, again, these uh, characters which represent uh, the data, everyone, okay? Or the letter, everyone. I mean, the word, sorry, everyone. Then after that, you can see we have this 0D, 0A, Okay, these dots, by the way, these you see these dots, 0D, 0A, 0D, 0A. We have six of them. We have like uh, 3, 0D and 3, 0A. Now, if we go back to our text file. Now, what these are, by the way, these are the uh, new line feed and carriage return. So, Steve, when, we, when you press enter, there's actually some data in there. Okay, even though, again, this is... Uh, not uh, uh, representable data, so we can't see it. It's uh, unseen or unrepresentable, let's say. And I mean here by representable, I mean unseen. So there is some hidden data here. Okay, so one, two, and then three. So that's why we have three new line feed and carriage returns. And that's why we have 0D0A, one new line feed carriage return. 0D0A, one line feed carriage return. And the same thing again over here. Okay. Then after that, we have 57, etc. This is the whole uh, string. Okay. And then after that, we have 2E, 2E, 2E. Now, these I, I made on purpose. Now, these dots are what these two E's represent. So each dot will represent 2E. Now, you might be saying, okay, but why is the dot over here a, a 0D and why is the dot over here a 2E? Now, the dot over here is actually one of these hidden characters, okay, which uh, you can't represent it here or ASCII is uh, not able to visually, let's say, display it for you. So it's being replaced with the dot, okay, while this is an actual dot which is actually represented 
as a dot in in the ASCII uh, character set. Okay. So again, uh, this is just how you can see uh, these files, uh, the content are. Let's do another. Uh, so this is let let's actually just stop here for this video and then uh, go into another video uh, because I want these videos to be short and you can easily go over them and digest them. So let's stop here and then create another video for another lesson. See you in another one.